order, I would note for the record that Ms. Johnson and Mr. Group are not here, and the mayor's not here. I will ask everybody to stand and say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. First item of business, as usual, will be the approval of the minutes of the prior meeting, which was August the 24th. I noticed one little change. It's on page two. It's uh, uh, PennDOT's paving schedule, not PennDOT's paving scheduled. Uh, other than that, did it, has anybody else seen it? Or does anybody else have any other corrections? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes as amended. That would be Miss Miss Jordan and Mr. Trable. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed. Ayes have it. So ordered. Next item of business is privilege of the floor. We have one person, Miss Iris Kale of 852 North Cool Street. Do you want to go up to the microphone, please, and address council? is an automatic, um, you lose your license and a $450 fine. 
which if there's people out there that are still oblivious enough to not realize that that's a law that they're breaking, it's also kind of like unfair. We're giving everybody so much benefit of the doubt these days. It's almost like we're, we're giving them, we're taking away that opportunity for them to realize what a big chance they're taking. If somebody loses their license on their way to work and they're paying fifty four hundred fifty dollars out of their pocket, that's a big hit for a lot of people. And you know, playing devil's advocate, you know, if you were that like you know oblivious, you should have signage that's warning you what you're about to do is illegal and you will have you know a consequence. So I you know I went on uh, Amazon and I looked up the the signs that go in the middle that tell you it's state law to yield to pedestrians and clock on the crosswalk. I looked up one of those um, yield to pedestrian signs, like a street sign, and even paint, even the paint for the, the sidewalk or for the crosswalk. And I mean, all in all, like for one crosswalk, it was like $500, you know? And with all the kids, I mean, we have Fountain Hill kids, and not all of them come from that side of Broadway. Not all of them can walk all the way to where there used to be a light, you know, or to wherever the mayor's like hanging out with, you know, like his crosswalk sign. Kids need to be able to cross, and I, I've even actually stopped my car, on, like in the rain or whatever, to help elderly people cross the street because people just refuse to yield to the crosswalk. And I think it's just because we have really poor signage, we have really bad behavior, and we have no like indication that like this might be something I shouldn't be doing because you know this old line is here, and I kind of think that means something, but I'm just you know what I mean. People are just like, there's no yellow line, I can park wherever I want, you know. And I'm, I'm just kind of, you know, after five or six years of waiting for that, I mean, we got our curbs painted, but that doesn't change, like, the safety in the borough and just kind of like, you know, why aren't we doing this if it's such a, it's, it's basic, you know, code, ordinance, whatever, just to keep people, like, informed of what they're doing to make better choices while living in the borough and keeping people safe. So that's why I'm here. I want to thank you. I also want to point out I've been asking for years to have those signs purchased and put out, and uh, there doesn't, there didn't seem to be a lot of support for that for various reasons. Uh, by ordinance, we uh, extended back the line of sight, I think, to nine, 90 feet on most every intersection on Delaware Avenue. The, the no parking signs are up when virtually every corner, um, it's an enforcement issue if, if they're parking from the sign back right. to the, the intersection. Uh, I've also asked for a sting operation to uh, uh, catch people who don't yield to, to pedestrians. I haven't gotten one yet. But so I, you know, I, I go to the park with my seven-year-old, my six-year-old granddaughter. I've been doing it for uh, <coughs> a couple of years now, and they don't stop. You are, you are cor correct. They don't stop. Right, Ms. Kale, if I could ask you, you mentioned that this was an intersection, and I didn't catch it. Could Delaware, you give me? It's right the, on Delaware, Delaware and Cool. And cool. Del yeah, okay. and Thank it's you. the only uh, crosswalk that I'm aware of that isn't near the playground or <laughs> the. This traffic light up there. I, I mean, there are a couple near the playground, but ours just seems to be just completely. Can I can I ask you a couple questions just to, sure. to try and address this? Yeah. So, are there crosswalk white crosswalk lines painted on there now? There are, but they've been. They're going to get repainted right next month with okay. the because Delaware Avenue is getting microsurface. Okay. So part of the contract for that is all of those street lines, including the double yellow, will get repainted. Okay. So you will get brand new white crosswalks. Um, are the yellow curbs not painted on those four corners? I'm looking at a Google image capture from 2021, so yeah. again, it's, it's a little bit old, but they look actually pretty bright at that yeah. intersection, so. Yeah, I really, I don't know what it is. I mean, maybe it is an enforcement issue. I know we have issues with budget for the police, but you know, it's just kind of like lawless, you know, when it comes to parking in the borough and you know, I really, I, I sympathize with people who don't have adequate parking, but that's not a reason to not like enforce, or not even enforce, but just mark an, an issue, you know? Well, I, I know Delaware Avenue is marked uh, in terms of this, 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 the setback signs are there. I've seen them, there's one up on the, there's one up on um, 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 my block and they're, and they're elsewhere. 
I don't think those signs go up the streets, up the up the, the side streets that intersect with Delaware Avenue, though. Right. But it is state law. You can't park within what 15 feet of the curb. Yeah, it's it's 20 feet of an intersection or 20 feet of stop sign, 15 15 and 20 for stop signs and things like that. And we write hundreds of tickets, and that's the big thing in the boroughs writing the ones that are up there. But I know what she said. I told I told the secretary to come yeah. down today uh, to talk. Uh, but I, I know that. There's, you can't see there's a crosswalk at Cool and um, Delaware. Uh, I don't know if there was one there before, uh, but there's the, the only crosswalk in the borough is all the way down where St. Luke's is, where the traffic light is, on that street. In North Point. What's that? In North at St. Luke's, St. Luke's Place. St. Luke's Place. Yeah, yeah. and that just, got a pedestrian, that just got a pedestrian crossing upgrade because yeah, I just signed off on the plan. That's the only one that I know of on the entire street of Delaware. No, I think there's one on, there's one on the floor. I can see it from on North Lane. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it, I guess since it's been resurfaced, they're not there. Well, it's not, it's, it hasn't been resurfaced. That's the problem. They just faded right. off. Okay. They're, I'm yeah. looking, like I said, I'm looking at Google Maps right now with 2022 imagery. And they're there from aerial. They're probably just faded enough when you're driving that they're hard to see. So, but they'll get as part of the contract for the microservicing of Delaware. The, all of those things will get repeated. Yeah, now because it needs a refresh. We were, two two years ago. We were excluded from that grant. Leslie used to go out all the time to different departments and act as a person trying to cross the street. And we would cite people in all the different jurisdictions, and we would do it in Fountain Hill. Right now, we just been included. I just got an email like two days ago um, after we ran a checkpoint up at uh, on Broadway that we are back included into that grant again um, for the pedestrian grant, for the aggressive driving grant, and for the DUI grant. So we're actually back included again in ones that we were missed for the last couple of years because our numbers were high. Well, I would strongly recommend you consider a. Um, uh, a sting operation for uh, people who don't stop. Yeah, they will. They actually, they'll, they'll fund that as a grant. So you know, we can we can do that. Uh, you know, with that. But like I said, it's got to be properly marked before we even before we even be able to. Well, I, I understand that, and it's from what Mr. Grad says, it's it's going to be. Okay. Yeah, all, all the street painting will get fixed. And, and just and one I, more. I know she thought there's a white van. As soon as you go up Cool Street, you look left. There's always that van is always there, but it's in the it's it's out of the way, but it's still a big white van where you have to do go out a little bit further to see around it. But it is is not in the yellow, it is in the it is in the, the parking area. So I know what van you're you're talking There's about. There's a few of them on that intersection, but I guess what I'm really asking for is signage because people are driving and they're just driving, you know, but I mean when you see us, you know, a speed limit sign, you're looking at signs, I mean, at least you're supposed to be looking at signs when you're driving. And if there could be a sign in either direction warning that there's a crosswalk coming up, I mean, that's a $50 fix. You know, I don't know, like, I'm sure the borough could throw up some, you know, some signs on some existing posts that we have or something. But, you know, we, we spent so much money on, I mean, we have signs at the park for COVID warnings and like, don't play in the playground. Like if we could do that for something that was obviously temporary and just kind of like very controversial about like what was actually going on there, everybody knows the dangers of getting hit by a car. There's no like, you know, I think we could put some money towards that and towards giving these kids a chance to be able to like at least, you know, feel like they, like somebody might know that they're walking out. Well, I know there are those plastic signs, those hard plastic signs, uh, state law, yield to pedestrian and crosswalks. Right. Uh, I, I advocated to purchase s s some of those. Yeah. But again, it did, for whatever reason, there didn't seem to be a lot of support. Is there no. any way to get down to the bottom of what those reasons were? Because I'm, I'm here to support that. I'm, you know, as a member of the community and a taxpayer in one of the highest income, you know, tax brackets, in the state, like it's really disappointing to, you know, live somewhere where you pay such high property taxes, such high school taxes, and you don't even get the bare minimum of, you know, like an appropriately marked, like well, you know, I know, I get it, you know, like we have St. Luke's and they take up so much of the borough land and they don't pay taxes, whatever. A highly profitable nonprofit isn't paying taxes in our borough, and we're eating the costs, and our kids are putting being put at 
risk to like pay the price for this? I mean, I would think that, I, just to, to comment, you know, you had remarked about the signage being removed at Broadway in Delaware. The antiquated school crossing signs are being removed and replaced with $230,000 worth of state-of-the-art crosswalk and cross, pedestrian crossing signs. I really signs. appreciate that, but that's so, so far away from my house. That no, 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 but you had, refer you had referenced that yeah. when you were, when no, you were speaking, I, so I, I just, as a point of clarification. No, yeah, I but I agree. I mean, those, yeah. those little pedestrian signs yeah. are relatively inexpensive. Yeah. I, I think the problem, I think, if I recall, the objection to buying them again, and I, I could be mistaken, but I remember the conversation was that we had them and that they never survived, that they were just out in the road and in a matter of days or weeks, the, the crazy people driving yeah. down the street. But they, Is that correct? But we, we have not had them since I've been in town. Not one. I've never we, seen we, one. We talked about it. I, re I remember talking about it. You could put them on, you could probably put one on Delaware, but you can't put it on Broadway. You can't oh, put, that's, right. that's a state road. Um, but you can probably put them on Delaware Avenue. I mean, we can, the bottom line is, I, I mean, I think there's inexpensive options to try that, you know, the chief and I can look at and Jason and I can look at for variable options out there. I mean, you're right, I, I probably have about 12 of those plastic signs to my credit that I destroyed with an ambulance in my 20 years. Uh, just because your unfortunate emergency vehicles sometimes have to traverse the middle of the road. Or the speeders are going down. And the, the yes. Well, or they get buried under snow. But Bethlehem I mean, has we'll look them. at them. Bethlehem has them in their downtown on Third Street. Yeah. But it's very slow down there because it's so much congestion with traffic and so many lights. Up here, you only have that one light. You have a big, like, part to, to go to there. And, and you know, they won't take a fifty mile an hour hit on Delaware either. No, but I, I mean, I think, I, I think honestly, like, I mean, there's, there's plenty of options out there that, you know, we can all put our collective heads together and come back to council and say, all right, here's, here's three or four options to, to try. And, you know, if, if it doesn't work out, then you go back to the drawing board. I would be happy. I, I mean, I can't even tell you, I would be more than happy to go door to door as a, you know, a member of the community and ask for, you know, donations for a light up sign, just to know that if you know, we could do that, that it would be put up and that the borough would, you know, and I'm, I'm sure you wouldn't have any objections to that, but I also don't feel like I should have to go out door to door so here, asking for people's fair chance. Here, here's the hurdle that even though Delaware is not a state road, we're subject to state law, law when, in regards to traffic signals. So any type of traffic control device you put out there has to be approved by PennDOT. Right. So I, I know when we look at like the pedestrian crossing that Dr. Salib just put in, um, that has been revised. I just signed the final plan. I've been here a year and I've been working on that with various revisions. So sometimes it's not as simple as just like, you're right, you can put some signage out. There's plenty that are approved, but getting things like an electronic sign board or those type of things no, yeah. all require extensive approvals by PennDOT. I drive to Wegmans of Jacksonville and they have their flashy little like you can stop or you can just get a fine, you know? Mm -hmm. and I'm thinking something along the lines of something simple like that that you know gets people's attention that leaves the choice up to them but it's just you know that's that's kind of what I'm asking for or even just something that maybe have to be replaced you know once a year. Right. I, I think we can put our collective heads together and, and I mean we understand the concern and, and you're right people do speed on Delaware. I have to try and pull out of that intersection it's it's not fun so We'll, uh, we'll all sit down and, and look at what options are out there and present you know, some options to council if everyone wants to just look at addressing the problem. I've been asking for that for years. Right. Well, oh, here I am to answer it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Kim. Any, anybody else wish to address council on an agenda item? Hearing none, the mayor is not here, so I would think there's no mayor's report. Borough manager report, first item is the road work update. What's going on? Well, so that was a good segue. Um, Delaware Avenue is getting resurfaced. It's a three quarter inch microsurface that'll expend, extend the life of the pavement. The good news is it dries almost immediately after application and rolling. So um, it is much quicker to apply and then regain the ability to drive on versus a traditional mill and overlay. Along with that is all the line striping and line painting crosswalks. Um, as I mentioned, Ms. Kale. So uh, all of those things shall be refreshed. Um, we're probably looking at a very late September, early October completion date for that. 
we have a uh, meeting with the hospital uh, and our engineer and Mr. Quarry and the contractor on the 16th to address the traffic plan. Right. Well, do you have a, an approximate? You said completion date. Do you know when it's going to start and approximately? How oh, it's it's, it's only going to be a, it's only going to be two days. So it'll it'll start and end there either in that last week of September or the first week of October. Probably realistically the first week of October. But as soon as we pin them down, uh, we'll push that out on social media and our website and spread the word. Okay. Thank Quick you. question. Uh, I've been noticing that there are signs up uh, in the vicinity of the church uh, that they're going to be starting working on the road. Are you going to do it through that intersection first? No. So that is our pedestrian uh, crossing upgrade that I alluded to um, via the TASA grant. That work is starting this week. Uh, it was supposed to start today. today. And uh, yeah, well, it was monsooning, so I think they pushed it off. Oh, yeah. Um, but yes, so. There are going to be minor traffic restrictions. Again, that was put on Facebook and our website with a, a map uh, showing the work area, but that is just curb, sidewalk, and the new uh, signposts and pedestrian crossings. Uh, and then line painting will not be, it's going to be temporary line painting and then the expensive thermoplastic stuff will be applied after PennDOT comes through next year to do their mill and overlay, but there'll be temporary reflective line paint on the road. Um, that should take about a month to complete. Minimal traffic disruption when they're working on parts of the curb and sidewalk and they need a lane closed for safety, but they'll have flaggers in place to ensure that emergency vehicles get through. Uh, it'll be far less impactful than what we've endured for the last year. Anything else on the road update? Uh, no, that, uh, those are the two projects. Oh, I'm sorry. The uh, MTF grant uh, is looking at uh, its motion to award that tonight. Uh, we're looking at a October start date with that. That'll start at Bishop Thorpe and work towards um, the Broadway and Delaware intersection. Um, and, but again, that, that'll be in October. And we'll push all this information out once we have firm dates on that. But those are the three projects that are still outstanding for this year. The next item of agenda on, under your report is ARPA funds. Yeah, so the American Rescue Plan funds, we're set to get our, our second tranche of those. Um, which should be somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, about $240,000. Uh, when we get down to the motions, you'll see that the low bidder for the Broadway curb and sidewalk exceeded the grant amount for the multimodal grant by $233,000. Um, we could allocate the ARPA funds to make up that, cover that difference, and we would be able to complete phase one, which would go all the way up to where the TASA grant is fixing the curb and sidewalk at that intersection of Broadway and Delaware. So we'd go from Bishop Thorpe all the way up to there um, if we would, if council would so choose to reallocate the ARPA money. If not, we're probably going to have to reduce the scale um, of the work to drop that price. Uh, but again, we don't have the money yet, so we can't motion to allocate it yet, um, but it should be here very shortly. Okay. And the last item of your report is the Community Coalition Use of the Pool Pavilion this Saturday. Yeah, Saturday the 10th, 10.30 a.m. They've requested, uh, council gave them the approval of last meeting. Um, I was going to talk to Mr. Roof to see if he's going to be attending to get him the key for the gate, and then we'll have the bathrooms open from the uh, inside pool area, and they're just going to use the pavilion at the pool. All right, I plan on being there, but, but I don't have a key. Oh, we can get you a key. All right. We'll make point. sure we get you. All right. That was the last item on your report. Is there anything else? No, that is also. Right. There is no new business. There are no resolutions. There are no ordinances. There are two motions. The first motion is to approve the MTF funded Broadway curb and sidewalk project to T. Schieffer, Schieffer Contractors, Inc. They are the low bidder in the amount of $1,233,486 as recommended by the borough engineer. The letter was in your packet. Are there any questions on that? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve that? Mr. Trable, is there a second? Mr. Trot, Mr. Trot, or are there any other questions? Hearing none, Mr. Trable. Ms. Graham? Yes. Ms. Jordan? Yes. Mr. Trotter? Yes. And I vote yes. It's approved. Second um, a motion is to award the payment to Cobalt Construction for the 
Theater Avenue project in the amount of $140,833.57. That was also in the engineer's uh, a, a, a letter that was in your packet. Is there a motion to approve that? So moved. Ms. Jordan, is there a second? Second. Mr. Trabel, any questions? Hearing none, Mr. Trabel. Yes. Ms. Graham. Yes. Ms. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Trotter. Yes. And I vote yes. And, and just, just as a, a note, that 100, about 136,000 of that is funded by the uh, Community Development Block Grant. So we'll be submitting for that. Perfect. There, is, there are no items of old business. Uh, anybody have some? Hearing none. My report, uh, again, I want to thank the, the, uh, the Recreation Committee and the Playground crew. It was a great summer. My wife and I were up there several times with our granddaughter. We also drove by several times, and there, it was good to see the ch children back out after the COVID years. It was good to see our staff interact with the children instead of just sitting around in the shed handing items out. I thought it was a, I thought it was a well-run program. Uh, I would also like to acknowledge this is Eric's first anniversary with us. I believe he started the day after Labor Day a year ago. It may not be the exact date, but it's the exact time. The day after Labor Day, he's been here for a year. And I had a full head of hair. And he had, he had a full head of hair when he started. But I did. He want was to, in a much better mood. But I did want to acknowledge that. Uh, I also want to uh, make a plug for uh, the community coalition. Uh, we had a good tur turnout. The July meeting, I believe it was. It was here in Borough Hall. I'm hoping the enthusiasm hasn't died. Uh, Mr. Zofko has a lot of good ideas. He he's formulating a nucleus, but he needs. He needs foot soldiers, and he needs people to sit on his board of directors and uh, to, to be officers. So if you have any interest at all in that, I would encourage uh, everybody to show up, as, as many people as possible to show up. It's, it's a, it's, I think it's a, he's got some very good ideas. I would also uh, like to remind everybody school is back in session and to drive with care, especially around the schools. Do we have a preliminary report on the, the traffic? Chief, do you hear anything? Uh, Jason and I drove through there and it seemed to be. Richmond and, and Matt have been up there helping out and that seems to be going okay. That's good to hear. That's my re report. Next item is the solicitor's report. Not much to add other than just a quick update on collections. We've had another, I believe, a substantial delinquency paid up in full. Um, we've had one that was also substantial get into a payment plan. Uh, they made a large upfront payment and then they have larger payments going forward. Uh, I think there's actually only one left on the list that we were considering foreclosing on and we're actually preparing, we're in the middle of preparing those foreclosure docs now. Um, and we'll be moving forward on that shortly, but uh, other than that, nothing else to report. Thank you, sir. Com committee re reports, finance, Mr. Trot. Mr. Trot. Okay, please refer to your list of the uh, payments made out of borough funds from the, uh, in the month of August. Uh, from the general fund, $153,241.07. A second. We have a motion. We have a second. Are there any questions? Second. No, we have a second. Are there any questions? Hearing none. M Mr. Trable. Yes. Ms. Graham. Yes. Ms. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Trotter. Yes. And I vote yes. Pay the bills. Thank. You. Thank you, sir. Uh, public Works. Ms. Jordan. I have no report. Police. We are in the middle of the police negotiation. I 
we're not meeting again. There's no scheduled meeting, but we're still uh, in the negotiation phase of the con the contract. We've talked about the uh, the Delaware Avenue situation, Chief. Do you have anything? I uh, have nothing else. We have the drug drop off or the drug drop off coming up in October. Um, I'll give you a date on that, and we'll post it. Oh yeah, don't we have anything with a plug coming up on yeah. the on the seventeenth? You just reminded me of that. Yes. Uh, yes, September seventeenth, ten to two at the Upper Dotson Ball Field is the electronics recycling. I just refreshed the post on Facebook, and I'll refresh it on the website tomorrow. And, um, you, and you, as I recall, five it, it's a five-item limit, and you must show proof of or residence. Yes, and they will take window air conditioners, small refrigerators, um, but mainly air conditioners if, for disposal of the Freon. So they will collect those. We would be considering proof of residency. Driver's license. I have a tax bill, driver's tax license. Bill. It's the typical stuff like we folks come in here with. So. Uh, It doesn't cost, it's not going to cost them. We're paying it out of the health and, or the health and sanitation fund. We have sufficient balance there to, to just cover this as council. Uh, September 17th. September 17th. Not, not this coming Saturday, a week from Saturday. Okay. Up at the upper field from 10, 10 to 2. All right, house and ordinance. Mr. Ruff is not here. Fire, Mr. Trevor. Emergency, oh, thank you. 15 emergency calls, 18 emergency response hours were used. Uh, there are no hours for fire school training and no, no hours for work, the uh, UKL. 51 total man hours for a month. It includes equipment checks, truck checks, and building maintenance. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Recreation, Ms. Johnson's not here. Health and sanitation, Ms. Graham. Okay, so our collection report for garbage. Uh, current is $36,538.76. Delinquent is $8,807 with a total of $45,345.76. For sewer, our current is $60,271.02. Delinquent is $16,000. $286.62 for residential. For commercial, we're current is uh, $92,244.90 with a grand total of $168,802.54. I'm sorry, a grand total for both garbage and sewer is $214,148.30. Thank you. Personnel, Mr. Trotter, anything going on? No meeting. All right. Uh, special or select committee, anything from the hospital? Sure. Anything from the fire fire po police? Any, any library rep is not here? How, how are books on the hill going? Sure. They're doing great. That's a good that's good to hear. Yes, every every week there's a little more interest and there's a little more books checked out. So I think it's almost a, a year. In yeah, October it'll be it'll yeah, be the first week in October will be the first anniversary and I think it, it's growing and it's got a lot of potential. That's good news. Very good news. All right. I believe I hit all the special or select committees. The privilege of the floor. Anybody wish to address council on any item whatsoever? Hearing none, uh, we are going to adjourn into an executive session to discuss a potential legal issue. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. We have to add it to, it's listed as none on the agenda. Since oh. this came up today, we have to make a motion in a second to have an executive session. All right, session. I will. Uh, Ask for a motion to amend the agenda to include the need for an executive session to discuss a potential legal issue that just arose today. So moved. Mr. Trabel, and is there a second, Ms. Ms. Graham? Second. All right, second, Ms. Graham. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. None. All right, the, the motion or the agenda has now officially been amended. I will now. I will now ask for a motion to adjourn into executive session to discuss a legal issue that just came up today. So and I would announce we're not coming back. 
Mr. Jordan is there second. Mr. Trotter, all those in favor say aye. 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 All right, we're gonna meet in the other, actually, we're gonna ask everybody to leave and we'll, we will stay here. <laughs>